revenue bill, and they couldn't do that. Uh, they couldn't do it last night. They couldn't do it today. So John's secret formulas seem to be more aspirational than factual. <laughs> so you really don't believe there's nothing that he could offer your conference that would be make it worth your while to lend support to override the governor's vetoes to restore some of this funding, including money for education. If we did a good jobs program, if we did cut back on these taxes that are counterproductive, if we put limits, a spending cap in, I mean, there are things we've avowed that there are our goals. If you want to explore that, that's a possibility. But I think short of that and short of rewriting the budget, I don't see any way. Okay, so you have argued, your conference has argued, as you just actually alluded to, that the, that the Senate has not been in good hands under the Democrats. It's going to be a difficult election year. You have an opponent this year, a Democratic opponent, former county legislator, his name is Dave Mejias. Are you concerned? I'm concerned because the temper at times, like the signs that are around the Capitol District of just vote them out, may be, the, may be a key. But frankly, uh, we've been connecting with the people. We've been articulating with them. Uh, we've been running twice as hard. And the fellow who got nominated, he has a track record. And he got, he got turfed as a county legislator because he raised taxes. Um, he, he voted to increase the salaries of the county executive. There was a record there that didn't get him reelected. Well, you have a record, too. I mean, it's, you're going to put up one record against another record, and you're going to weigh, they're going to weigh them off, essentially. Absolutely. So I'm against raising the taxes, $14 billion of taxes in the last two years. That's a heck of a contrast. Do you want to game out the chances of your district, of your conference, actually? Because there are four seats uh, that are vacant that, that you didn't expect, actually, that you, due to an illness, due to retirements, that you didn't expect that you were going to have to defend. Open seats are difficult to defend, harder than an incumbent defending a challenge, even if that challenge is very tough. And then subsequently, you have to actually win back at least two seats to get back the majority. Well, we're going to win the two seats in Long Island that Democrats now hold. They're nice people, but they have not been effective senators. We're, the, all of the four open seats are going to be Republican seats because they're all strong Republicans running, sometimes even stronger than the incumbent. There are seats upstate, um, Valesky, Aubertine, uh, Stakowski. I think that will, Republicans will win there. Um, so there's a substantial chance we're going to come back not 32-30 flipped, but really 34-28. Well, we shall see. But in the meantime, Campana, I want to thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank you.